Have you ever wanted to be a giant space death worm that can eat galaxies whole? Well, now you can. You get to control this giant beastie in a 2D top-down space game. Fly around space and eat all kinds of things. But here's the thing. See that giant worm? That's not you. That's an anteater. The most dangerous and gluttonous creature in the universe. You're that little guy who's going to be hanging on top of it. You've been tasked with controlling that monster. You see, it's too dangerous. We can't kill it, and even if we could, if any other creature were to come in contact with its DNA, it'd become an end eater itself. So, what do we do, you ask? Devolution. Yep, not evolution, but backwards evolution. You're going to control that beast and make it eat all the things it normally wouldn't. Poisonous planet core? Make it eat it. Super spiky asteroid? Sun going supernova? Spaceship carrying several atomic bombs? Eat it. But if you come across a thriving, thriving planet full of life and clean air? No. You want to devolve this beast, not feed it. I'm not going to lie to you. You will come across some challenges. As this creature devolves, it's going to lose some of its evolutionary advantages. You can say goodbye to that armor or them rows of teeth allowing you to eat things in one go. Oh, also, some may not agree with our method of getting rid of this creature. You see, you are going to be eating other planets and civilizations, but that's for the greater good. If those end lovers want to get in your way, well, you do have a giant death worm and they don't, so you know. And who knows what other hardships await. But you will persevere. You will devolve this beast to its first state. When you're done that, we can be rid of it for good. We believe in you. Let's just something cra hope something crazy doesn't happen, like the creature speaking to you or something. <laughs> That'd be nonsense. Well, thanks for listening, and good luck out there.